hanging out with Stuart Freeze, and he just helped me uh, uh, get my filter setting right on the camera. We decided to go with this one rather than the really bright one. He had himself a pretty good day yesterday. You guys are getting this on Friday. He's got some races to do tonight. He's going to start fifth in the 350, or excuse me, fifth of the big block, fourth of the 358. Of course, the triple 20s, obviously, that uh, changes for tonight. Um, first of all, let's get rid of the rumor. Everybody saw a helicopter floating around yesterday. It landed and then took off. I heard that Stuart Friesen. Yeah, we were just going sightseeing, me and Parker. Oh, so it was true? No. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now that's cleared up, guys, so you know that that is not the case. Obviously, yesterday couldn't have gone a heck of a lot better, right? No, it was good. Um, guys are, you know, Tommy and all the guys, Helmar team's been working really hard to prepare for this week and um, time both cars in the top six, so that was always, you know, at the mile, that was always the thing. Um, but it gives us some good upfront starting spots for the heat races tonight, and um, we'll race them and see how our cars are, are running, and then um, you know hopefully you know be able to that hopefully make some money in it and uh, know what to do for the big races Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, because there's two trains of thought. Because some drivers in different situations, depending on the track and the race and everything else, if they know they're guaranteed, they might even take a scratch or just race a couple laps and then pull in. But you said, well, probably because. A, you haven't had a lot of laps racing on this yet this year. And yep. like you said, there's good money, so we might as well go for it, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, the purses are halfway decent for the uh, for the heats, uh, which is cool. And, um, you know, we got to race these things and see see what they do. So uh, want to make as many laps. We tried to make as many laps as we could in practice yesterday. Um, just watch how the track changes and try to keep up with the changes. And, um, you know, seeing what happens and what kind of surface we get Saturday night into Sunday, uh, you know, we'll have that those uh, those notes to go back to. Did we learn anything in the quick practice this morning, or did you even get out there? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I think both cars are pretty close. Um, the big block needs a little bit, I think. Uh, the small block feels pretty good, you know. Um, so looking forward to uh, when the sun goes down and getting some moisture back on the track and, um, you know, racing it. A lot of guys, a lot of fans, too. Probably more fans tell me this than actual racers, they say. These 200-lap races with pit stops, there's some degree of luck there based on pit strategy, when you pit, how you come out. Is it luck or is it skill? And how often do you actually have a strategy that you it's, actually stick it's, with? Uh, it's a moving target. Um, as far as the strategy, it, it changes. Um, everything kind of gets dictated to, to how the track's racing. So, um, you know, whether you want a short pit, whether you want to come late and get some tires, if you can race back through. So um, we'll, we'll just watch uh, the track. I got great team teammates here that, uh, that get it. And um, let's try to go from there. Does the crew chief make the decision, or is that a discussion they have with you under yellow? We this? all kind of just make it together. Uh, between Jess, Jess gets involved, you know, she uh, she spots from the front stretch, so um, she's usually got a pretty good idea on, on what's going on. And then uh, Kevin Ayers, myself, Tommy Conroy, um, Kevin Bates is usually involved in, in that those decisions. Oh, Kevin's so. still around. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, all he's right. on his way up. So uh, he's kind of our race strategist for for this stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you remember the little teenager that used to hang around with Alan Johnson back in the 90s, that, that's who it is. That's Absolutely. Kevin Bates uh, right there. Yeah, because I would imagine it would almost have to be a team decision because you're seeing the track, they're not, but they're seeing yeah. other lap times, they're seeing where everybody else is running, and you're not. Yeah, exactly. So that's, that's a beautiful thing about having uh, the two-way communication. Um, you know, you can have those discussions under caution and, um, and you know, make a plan and, uh, you know, strategize a little bit or if you got to work on the car. Um, you know, like here at Oswego, it's not so much strategy oriented like Syracuse was because mm -hmm. um, you can usually race back up through so um, just being able to have, have that tool um, is, is, is valuable. Yeah and obviously calculating fuel mileage you don't know oh, sure. we can't pit too early but sometimes you you know because I, I don't even know why anybody stays out to lead lap 100 because the person who leads lap 100 very rarely wins this thing so that's uh, the thing. What's up after this weekend? Uh, Port Royal with the Short Track Super Series next weekend uh, looking Here forward the to place that. Is great. Yeah. Port Royal is probably one of the top five tracks in the country right now. So I've heard that. Um, that's cool. Uh, I'm glad to be able to get down there and do that for, for some big money. Yeah. And uh, then Eastern States, Following 200 week. weekend. Um, you know, big block, small block, or just big yeah, block? Yeah, big block, small block. Okay. Uh, the SCSS stuff Thursday night as well. Oh, that's um, right. I forgot that. There, yep. There's a lot of stuff. No on USAC sprint this time, though? I think there is, too. But I, not you? No, 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 okay. no not me. Not me. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm staying with a roof over my head. Okay. Uh, um, but yeah, Eastern States will be a big show. Um, so that'll be, that's, you know, obviously nice that we're off with the truck to be able to hit that. And then we go to Martinsville the week after that. And by the way, I saw the iRacing cameras at Port Royal. So for you guys who are iRacing fans, they, that picture was circulating yesterday. So hopefully that's in their next build. When's the next time we get in the truck? Uh, Martinsville uh, the week after uh, Eastern States. Um, trying to get in the chase there. And uh, then we go to Phoenix the week after that. So um, hopefully we can have a good run, get ourselves locked in the final four and uh, kind of have a shot at it at Phoenix. 
All right, wish you all the best. Enjoy Thank your you. helicopter ride home tonight. No, guys, that wasn't yeah, the thing. Yeah, gas it up. <laughs> gas it up, right? So hit the blue E, subscribe. We love every time we're talking to somebody cool like Stuart. Uh, give Jessica a hug for me. I'll see you soon, okay, Absolutely. man? Absolutely. Thank you.